Hello everyone, this is Vivek. In this video, we will discuss the configurations required to extract metadata from SAP ERP Central Component or SAP S4 HANA Source Systems in Informatica Cloud Data Governance and Catalog Tool. We need to perform series of steps to extract the metadata from SAP systems. I have summarized the steps which you can see on the screen. Few steps needs to be performed by SAP administrator in SAP systems and few needs to be performed by IDMC administrator either in the secure agent machine or in the IDMC services such as administrator metadata command center. Let's discuss each step in detail. The SAP user account which we are going to use for connecting to SAP source system should be assigned with the required user authorization profiles. For extracting metadata from SAP ERP source system, SAP admin should assign the authorization profiles as shown on the screen. I would recommend to refer catalog source configuration guide for SAP ERP for latest list of values. Log in to Secure Agent Server and navigate to Secure Agent Installation Directory, Downloads, Package MFA Agent Core, Package Data Scanner SAP Folder. Here you can find SAP Scanner Binaries. These are the transports which we need to import into SAP system. Download these binaries and share it with the SAP Administrator. After extracting SAP scanner binaries.zip file, you can see three folders, one for each source system. Since we are configuring SAP S4 HANA, which is SAP ERP system, hence we will navigate to SAP S4 HANA folder. Since I will be importing transports from custom folder, hence well, let's move to custom folder. And here I can see there are two transport files. To import these transports into SAP system, the first step is to upload these two files on SAP server. Now, since both the transport files are successfully uploaded on SAP server, we'll use transport management to import the transports. Click on extras, other request, add a request. We need to provide transport request. This information we will get from the readme file. Remember to provide the correct request number based on the transport which you are trying to import. Transport import request is created here. Select the request and click on import request. Select the target client. Click on options and choose import transport request again, overwrite originals and overwrite objects in unconfirmed repairs. Click on continue. Refresh the page and here transports are imported. Double click on the request number to see the status. Log in to Secure Agent Server and navigate to Secure Agent Installation Folder, Apps, Data Integration Server, EXT. Here I can see only drivers folder. I need to upload SAP JCO libraries under a folder structure in this EXT directory. The required folder structure 
under ext directory is not available hence i will first create the folder structure here remember to create this folder structure with the same operating system account which is used to run secure agent services now the folder structure is created upload the sap jcu libraries in this folder remember for windows and linux operating system the jcu libraries will be different hence upload the correct jcu libraries based on the operating system where the secure agent is running i have now uploaded both the sap jcu library files in this location log in to iics administrator navigate to runtime environment and look for the secure agent edit the secure agent under service select data integration server scroll down and under custom configuration details set this property under service select data integration server type tomcat jre subtype will be blank name will be java underscore libs and provide the path here remember this path will vary based on the operating system where secure agent is installed look for the catalog source configuration guide for sap source systems for the correct path save the changes once you click on save a new version of data integration service will start also do not forget to enable sap connector at the secure agent level to do so navigate to the secure agent group click on enable or disable services connectors for sap erp we will be using sap bapi connector hence make sure that sap bapi connector is checked similarly for other source systems you may need to select other options such as sap bw connector click on okay a new version of data integration service will start make sure all the services on the secure agent are in running state before moving forward navigate to iics administrator connections and create a new sap bapi connection select the runtime environment where we have set the required properties provide credential to connect to sap system click on test connection to test the connectivity here we can see test connection was successful message save the changes navigate to metadata command center click on new search for sap erp click on create provide a name for the catalog source configuration select the connection which we created in iics administrator we can click on test connection to validate the connectivity to sap system click on next select the runtime environment where we have set the required properties we need to provide filter in order to extract metadata from sap erp click on show supported wildcards and example to know the filter format here i have provided a sample filter to extract metadata from a package name vs core based on the sap transport you have imported in sap system select the name space since we imported sap transports from custom folder hence i have check custom option here save the changes click on run
once metadata extraction sync job is successfully completed, we can see the stats of objects extracted from SAP system. Navigate to data governance and catalog. And open the catalog source. Here we can see all the objects extracted. We would love to hear from you. You can connect with us on any of the Informatica support channels. Thank you.